It was the cold fucking New Year's Day on the island of Silver. Thomas was busy taking drunk people home. I think someone just pissed on one of my seats, said any. Smell like vomit, added clerical, and I think the god is drunk. The god had been drinking Jack Daniels all day, he was also high on cocaine. <laughs> Fuck this shit, said Thomas. After dropping off the last of those drunk fucks, Thomas went to a coal mine. What's up? Who was in the chat? No. <laughs> Next day, Thomas, James, and Henry were in the shed when the Fed can go alive. He needed three to work on the red leg line for the next two weeks. You each received different jobs, taking freight and passenger trains in turns. But she said, James, we have too much work. The Christmas and New Year period is over, so you can manage. But she said, James, but said, don't make me pull up lazy now, no me. The Fed car then got into his car and went to get some KFC. Fed fuck. The next day, the engines were working the line. It was so fucking smooth. The engines feel like total shit. What the fuck did we do to deserve this shit? Later the day, Thomas was waiting at the station hall near the lake shore and the signal was red and Thomas was getting impatient. Just then, he began to hear strange noises coming from the water. But the fuck was that? He looked at the water but couldn't see a fucking thing. Who the fuck is it? Identify yourself, warned Thomas. Who the fuck are you talking about? You need to stay off the green self laughed his driver. Then stop putting it in my fucking firebox. You dick had yelled Thomas. Thomas's driver and fireman would lie to his son. The thing went green and Thomas set off. Little did he know he and his crew were being watched by an unknown figure hiding in the lake. Later that evening, Henry had to take a good train from Lake Bill to did not. Just then, Thomas laughed. Be careful when you get to the station hall near the lake, Henry. Who is Henry? Because there's a fucking alien jerking out of the lake. Snap Thomas. Fuck off, get Henry. Henry was puffing through the snow. The snow was heavy in the one and a half. Fuck me, I'm cold. Henry had to stop at the rain signal. He began to feel the pun just then, the whole splash in the lake. There's no way that could be a fucking fish shot at Henry. This driver and fireman was scared shivers as well. Fuck this. Seconds had to read this fireman. And Henry stayed as right away as fast as he could. Next day, Henry was back at Lake Vieta. He was still shaken up after last night's events. Just then, James arrived to collect some drugs. Jesus, Henry, first the fucking owl, then an elephant, now fucking alien, when you're such a busy. This off, James. Go shove some good laces up your ass, and when you're down, go dip your walls in the bucket of thought. James laughed with TV said to head, and he puffed away. Later, James had to dig some petrol tankers to the harbor. As he puffed along the land, he noticed something by the lake shore. It was a group of male wagons. They were on fire. The fuck happened to that train? 
Then you heard a chime kind of coming out of the lake. Oh shit, said James, he puffed away so fast and left his fuel tankers behind. The next day, Booker found Henry and Chan sitting in the shed. Oh, said the giant tentacle. Hey, they said to go. Think I've an idea. Thank you.